All right, welcome to Araton Empire, Senior G Tambor Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, show based updates, and things happening around you. And today, just we have a lot to talk about. A lot, guys. Very interesting, very controversial, and very juicy. Just stay tuned, stay glued because we'll be talking about David O, Gioma, Obi Franklin. Macy Johnson reviewed something about her health. That, ladies and gentlemen, it will be easy. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includes. Ajoke Siva also revealed deep secrets of how she has been coping with her husband, which socialite has been congratulating her. I'll be giving you all the details. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Moore has finally come out to apologize to Ibos, just stay tuned, stay glued because we have a lot, a lot to talk about. But please, before we dodge in, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Just stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so quickly, sharply, let's dive into matters arising in the day. Firstly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Debido and Chioma. The kind of love all these people, they show us on social media now, eh? it be mind busting, you know, and it shocked me because I, I can't they think ever since they lost this, their son, their love has become more stronger, more, more energetic, more corresponding, like... The video don't glue with Chioma now. The way that they do things, you can never see Chioma without seeing the video. You can never see the video without seeing Chioma. And yesterday, these two love birds decided to set the internet ablaze with their romantic, romanious buha. The video and Chioma decided to tattoo their names on their hands. They decided to tattoo their names on their body. May no bless I just the carry the talk. Oh yeah, roll it. We think say na day na end. <laughs> Obi Franklin also tattooed David's son's name Ifani on his own hand that same day. That same day, Obi Franklin also tattooed Ifani's name on his own hand to also prove the love that he has for Ifani. The <laughs> blessed say these people, this new year is all about tattooing people that you love so since we are we are in the atmosphere of tattooing people that we love ladies and gentlemen yesterday i also went to tattoo whiskey in my ear i tattooed whiskey in my ear and since last night what i've been hearing is yai 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 so before this morning i decided to clean it because i can't come and kill myself we are now in the spirit of tattoo. So go and tattoo someone that you love. Still on matters arising, let's talk about Ajoke Siva. Ajoke Siva said something that the whole internet was really calm. For a long time, people, people were reasoning high reason. And we find out that the kind of love with this our old people they have for each other the kind of understanding what they have for each other these days we don't have it it's very rare to see such love and understanding ajoke siva was interviewed by Missy johnson and she said something Missy johnson asked her how she has been coping with her husband health and she said something that it was really calm and emotional May not be like I just the candidate. Talk! 
Oh, yeah, Alex! Cook. Yes, you cooked because you had to. Because I had to. Tell us yes. about that. Um, well, from the, when we were dating in England, um, we both liked to, you know, go out for dinner and things like that. And then we, when we got back home, got married and things, um, going out for dinner at that time was really crazy expensive. You know, so all dinners, all everything was at home. And um, you realized I really didn't like cooking that much. I was good at it, but I just didn't enjoy it. It was like a chore. <laughs> but he liked to cook. But well, this is so romantic, and it strikes me like Uncle Lou is a very romantic person. He is, actually. He is, rather. So more romantic. He's the more romantic one. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so, a couple of months ago, yes. sorry, I'm going here. Yes. Sadly, we all found out Uncle Lou had dementia. Yes. And then, adding that to all of these stories you've told me now, mm. how has coping been? Because apparently things have changed, you miss mm. lots of things. Mm. How do you augment, you know, mm -mm. how have you been able to adapt to this change? Um, well, I think for me, it's, it was getting to the place of acceptance. To, you know, sometimes when you, you know, um, a partner starts exhibiting some, some things and, you know, um, there'll be, there'll be the religious side that say, oh, you need to, you know, all these prayers and things. Mm -hmm. And then there are also, you know, other sides that will say, oh, you should, be, you know, if you use all these natural herbs and the natural this and organic that and, you know, and, and you're, you're doing everything that you're being told to do and there's no there's no change it's almost like the, the patient is getting worse you know but when you get to the stage of acceptance that this is your new reality honestly it's so much easier it's so much easier you then you realize that okay this is where the this is the new season this is your new reality so you're working with your partner and you're like you meet them where they are you know wherever they are you just meet them there and it's it's so much much easier yeah that's a huge lesson Ladies and gentlemen, what Ajoke Siva is showing is pure love and understanding, and which is very rare in this our days. Let's be sincere. This our, see, we meet the good old days, honestly. When you go see man and woman and they have this pure love and understanding. These days, no one is ready to stick for the worst. But Ajoke Siva understood the situation and she made up her mind that this is my husband and I'm going to stick with it and cope with this situation because now it's a normal routine. I've taken it that it'd be normal. It's more easier when you take it that this is my life now and I, I need to cope with it. This is pure love and understanding and which is very, very rare in these days. These days now, no one is ready to stick for the worst, honestly speaking. Nobody is ready to stick for the worst. And kudos to her. What she revealed, it be deep secret. She revealed the deep secret of what she has been going through. And she has decided to accept her fate like that. It not be easy. Let's be sincere. The way Ajoke Siva is taking care of Olu Jacob you'll be shocked alized because she knows that this is my husband and this is for better, for worse. Now, since we are now in the atmosphere of revealing secrets, Mercy Johnson decided to reveal her own secret to Ajoke Siva that got the internet very oozy and boozy. We never we never thought that Missy Johnson is going through this kind of situation, this kind of condition. Missy Johnson stated the fact that she have cancer. She had cancer and according to her explanation, she went for surgery 
and after the surgery the doctor placed her on a lifetime medication ladies and gentlemen lifetime medication we know bless are just the candidate talk oh my goodness oh and I have actually been here. Okay. I have never discussed it where I we had like um, a scare. Okay. Um, who I, who? I had like yes. um, a cancer scare in court. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I had like my thyroid removed. Removed, okay. Yeah, and it was like a journey for us because yes. we had heat. Um, yes. My last was three or six months at that time. Yes. And then, you know, we kept saying, okay, we have to understand this is a new us. Mm -hmm. Let's go get the surgery done. Mm -hmm. And then we got there, they said I was going to be on medication for the rest of my life. And it was the reality that we had to sit down. Yeah. You know, them giving me a time and say, you can't miss your medication. Mm -hmm. You wake up that day, mm -hmm. that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Telling mm -hmm. me all of the side effects. So I'm reconciling with this. You're saying mm -hmm. it's the truth. At the point when you realize this is where we are. This exactly. Let's grow from here exactly. and live in this comfort zone. Exactly. <clears throat> This one don't shocktalize me. This one have shocktalized me. I feel I feel for Miss Johnson right now. Honestly. What she revealed is a deep secret of her life. Deep secret of her life. You heard it from her. You know, they say she she undergo a surgery, but after the surgery. The doctor placed her on a lifetime medication. You can imagine that. You've been on a lifetime medication. Doctor gave you a medication that you have been you, you will be taking for the rest of your life. And according to what she said, the medication also have side effects. The medication also have side effects. You see, this is a clear explanation of what i've been saying about the way would they attack these celebrities this our this our actress and actors i keep on saying it that being a celebrity doesn't mean that your life is perfect being a celebrity doesn't mean that you don't get problem being a celebrity doesn't mean that you are not human beings we are human beings and we get our different problems so Please, as a fan, know the way you they attack the celebrities because they have their own problems that they are going through. Nothing say because they are celebrities, their life is perfect. Okay, let's just assume that with all this thing Mrs. Johnson is going through, now tomorrow you go see Mrs. Johnson for road and you wanted to take pictures and hug Mrs. Johnson because you are a fan. Um eventually mr johnson responded negatively to you 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 come on social media and start ranting banting and start cursing mr johnson that she's heartless she feel proud she's arrogant not knowing what she's going through at that moment you see we need to know when we are crossing the boundary I keep saying it. Maybe they give these celebrities their space because they are also human beings and they have problems. Their life is not perfect. Honestly speaking, I feel for her. I feel for her. You can imagine what she's passing through. And this is what I am saying. Maybe they give our celebrities their own space. Maybe they give them their own space to also think about their own life. Because you know, be every time being a celebrity doesn't mean that you are okay. I feel for her. Well, still we now day in the atmosphere of revealing secrets. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I have my own secret that I want to reveal. You see, this secret, you don't tell why don't they hold down for mind and it has been weighing me down. Each time I want to sleep, I keep on hearing, say it. Say it, say it, say it. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that person where call for kids down there or do you? Now me be that. Now me wake cough. I can't keep it anymore. May we? Still on matters arising. Quickly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp. Of UK this Nigerian woman has been jailed for making use of his office 
his position to scandalize and mutualize almost 20,000 pounds in UK. We, let me read the report for you. Akin Remy 41 was said to have abused her position as an administrator at the facility in Bostil House in Abbeywood in South East London and made dozens of unauthorized withdrawals, withdrawals from the bank account of patients. We, you see it? This is how these people, they tarnish our image when they go out there. This woman, they made you the administrator and you decided to use your position to scandalize and mutualize people's money. Obviously, she thinks that she's still there in Nigeria. She no not say she did in the UK. In Nigeria, you can easily mutualize and scandalize people's money. And if they catch you, you will tell them, Baba Blue, 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 Bulabai. They will allow you to go scot-free. But UK, that be, you can't go there. And if you are caught, you are going in for it. You are paying for it heavenly. We, we, that is it. This is how these people, they, they tarnish our image out there. UK is UK. Nigeria is Nigeria. Nigeria is not you, Nigeria. Understand it. So if you go out there, respect yourself. Please. Quickly, let's talk about Bob Risky. Bob Risky came out on her. Why do they say her? Bob Risky came out on his social media handle and he insulted Lagos boys. Bob Risky insulted Lagos fresh boys. Bob Risky talks, say, Lagos boys, they are really handsome. They are cute. They are beautiful. They are angelic. But they have one problem. All of them, they have one common problem. Say, if they open their mouth to tell you, how are you? Are you going my way? You will see, see their mouth, they smell. Like you say, they build suck away for their mouth. That's Lagos boys. They know they brush their mouth. Their mouth, they swear. Me, no bless, I just carry the talk. Oh, yeah, rough it. We have a lot of fine boys in Lagos, you know, cute guys, tall, they've got nice beards. Jigger, they actually look good. But it's one thing that is common among those guys the gut mouth. You cannot look good and you've got a that's that's bad you know i've seen so many guys in lagos looking all good looking all cute but the walk around with mouth is not fair so i want you guys to please walk on your mouth wahala 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 oh my goodness see this country eh? we are blessed though we are blessed you can never be in this country once you have data massa you can never be sad. You can never be sad in Nigeria. We are actually blessed with milk and honey plus people we know where. We are blessed too. We are blessed with milk and honey plus people we know where. That's why if you get data, you can never be sad in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, I think say Nadia in Endo. Oh, yeah, Ronnie. Wait, Smith, stop coming. Girl, stop coming. We just come out for real. Come out. When a man pregnant his wife, that man has committed sin. When a woman has carried the law, he's a sin because he's a thing of this world. First John chapter 3, verse 9. Okay, it's not so. They follow upon you. They follow upon you. They follow upon you. You follow that word. Okay, they're going to take you back to me. This country is full of comedians. You see, we are we are blessed. We are blessed in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, now is a sin for you to have a child. You see it? We are done. It's over. May we 